Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Ederin Edewo. I'm a multiple Amazon bestselling author. I'm the founder of multiple brands of low content books on Amazon. I've been building my business on Amazon since 2016 when I published my very first book. And last year I started creating workbooks and then creating low content products and have been able to help train over 2,500 students to also do the same. And in the past couple of months, the past four months, we've been able to help over 150 students actually get published with over 500 books published within this time frame. So in this tutorial video, I'm going to be sharing with you seven places to find buyers for your low content books. All right. Before, before I move on to the next slide, um, I'm going to share one extra bonus place to find buyers for your low content books that many people have not really thought about, but it's something that you should definitely be thinking about. So make sure that you're watching this video straight till the end so you can find out exactly what it is. Don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe and also to ring the bell to get notifications whenever I post a brand new tutorial. If you want to make sure that you get notified instantly when I post a new uh, tutorial, make sure that you click in the description below to join my Telegram channel when I will, where I post um, announcements and notifications for all my activities, um, stuff about my community, online publishers and entrepreneurs network, which is for people who want to be authors and get published. And also for my low content publishing, platform where I teach people strictly about low content publishing. Okay. So I will put the link to the telegram channel in the description below. And I will also link, um, as well, some, a video on how to get started building a global brand by creating low content products. For those of you who may have stumbled upon this video and are wondering what low content books are, I will also be putting a link for how you can actually, um, get some tips on how to sell no and low content products on Amazon, which I'll talk about briefly in this video. All right. So creating and publishing low content books on Amazon is the easy part. Anybody can learn how to create and publish a low content book onto Amazon today. In fact, if you watch that video that I talked to you about on, um, how to build a, 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 a global business, creating and selling low content products, you can actually learn how to create a notebook on Canva today and actually get published on Amazon today as well. But publishing is the easy part. The hardest part is selling and not just selling, but selling consistently. So where and how can you actually find customers for your low content products after you have published on Amazon? Remember that in order for you to get customers though, there are a lot of factors that are involved, especially when you're published on a platform like Amazon that has over 40 million books. It's very hard to stand out and to get consistent sales. So expecting that publishing on Amazon and then some gods are just <laughs> going to get your books to start selling all of a sudden. Uh, I don't know where people get that kind of information from, but it's not always the truth. Many times you have to have to publish a number of books first before you begin to see some sort of consistent sale. Other times you have to actively do the marketing for your book. So I'm going to be sharing with you um, a couple of ways in which you can actually find customers for your low content books. The number one, obviously, is Amazon. So if you're publishing your low content books on Amazon, the best place to find where you're going to actually sell is on Amazon. And you can actually find customers on Amazon. All right. One way to do this is to ensure that your book cover is optimized, that you have amazing, captivating book covers, because contrary to popular belief, people do judge a book by the covers, especially when it comes to low content and no content products. I mean, why would I want to buy your notebook out of thousands and thousands of other people's notebooks? It has to be something that must have caught my attention. All right. So usually that is the, the cover of the book. Another thing that could get people's attention or, or get you actually found organically on Amazon is the description of the book. If you're using the right keywords in your description, in the title and subtitle of your book, and also in category, you're using the right categories, you're using keyword research tools like Publisher Rocket or um, Titans and so on and so forth. You can actually um, be able to research niches that have really, really good um, keyword uh, ratio and BSR ratios that can actually help best selling bestseller ratios. That's what BSR means or bestseller ratings that can actually help you to get rank higher and get organically found when people actually search for books like yours. So Amazon is a great place, but you have to learn how to optimize. Again, I'm going to link a description to a video that I did on 15 tips for selling no and low content 
books on Amazon KDP. I really, really break down um, a lot of steps, a lot of things that you need to do to ensure that your book ranks higher, to ensure that your books, is act books are actually found on Amazon. All right. Another place that you can actually get customers is on Instagram. Many people who create low content products skip this part, and I don't know why. If you're creating low content products, you have a brand where you're creating uh, notebooks or journals or planners, please build it out. It's important that you have visibility for your brand. Instagram is a great place to still build visibility. So you can actually create an Instagram page for your brand. And whenever you create a new um, book, whether it's a notebook or a planner or a journal or a children's books or an activity books, whatever it is, you make sure that you put it up on your Instagram. Now, you're not just selling on your Instagram. You're also giving value as well. Make sure that you are building your following and you're giving value. Use the tools of Instagram. Use Reels. Reels are absolutely amazing right now. You can use Reels to get high visibility and get attention to your page and then eventually direct traffic to your, your books on Amazon. It's very, very good and absolutely uh, successful for people who have very niche brands. So, for example, you only focus on creating uh, journals for, for women or you focus on creating journals for teens or you focus on creating uh, journals for cooks or you focus on creating um, prayer journals or you're creating manifestation journals or gratitude journals or you focus on creating planners, business planners, all kinds of planners, all right? <laughs> Specific kinds of planners, actually, not all kinds. But if you're very focused with your brand, it's easy for you to create consistent content to be able to build a following of people who follow you to be educated and you can then sell your journals or your planners as a byproduct to help uh, help them along their journey. So if you're selling productivity planners, for example, creating amazing content around productivity will help you to build your following, build your brand. Then when you put out your journal or your planner for productivity, it's easier for you to get people to actually buy from you rather than waiting for people to automatically dis um, discover you on Amazon. Okay. So Instagram is a great place to build a brand, drive traffic to your products and your books on Amazon. Another great place to build a brand as well is uh, Facebook groups, all right? So um, you could either join other people's Facebook groups and give value while you are promoting your own books on your own personal Facebook profile. So that when you're giving value inside these Facebook groups, people automatically want to know who you are and want to check you out. So they will click on your name and go to your profile. When they see your profile, you should already have your Facebook profile optimized. In your Facebook bio, you can always add links to your Amazon Author Central page, or you can add links to your latest release for your planners, your journals, your notebooks, your children's books, whatever it is. All right. Um, I'll advise you, if you can, to create some sort of link tree where you can have your best selling books uh, as a link and put them up on your Facebook bio as well so that you don't have to sell one single product at a time. Whenever you upload brand new products, you can just update your link tree and it reflects there automatically. So creating value inside other people's Facebook groups. I'm not asking you to sell in their groups because most group owners will not let you sell. But going into these groups and creating value there without trying to usurp somebody else's community would really, really help you, okay? I advise you to think about the ethics of what you're doing. It's not going to be nice when you know that somebody else is building their own Facebook groups to sell their, the same products that you also sell. I would advise you to avoid posting on those groups because it can be a conflict of interest. Why don't you go create your own group and then do that there? So that's another thing you could do as well. If you don't want to post on other people's group, then take the time to do what they did and build your own Facebook community from scratch. And as you're delivering value, you can also sell your products as well. I use Facebook groups and they're fantastic for me. I also use Instagram as well. They're also fantastic for me. So depending on what platform you prefer, you can actually grow an audience on that platform, give value, and then sell your low content books. The same thing goes for YouTube as well, exactly what I'm doing right now. So <laughs> I'm not exactly using my own YouTube channel to sell um, my low content books that are published on Amazon. I instead focus on selling um, the templates. So I sell print ready uh, interior templates. I'm literally doing that right now, selling uh, print ready interior templates that you can check out on my store. My brand for selling that is called Keith and Stone. I will link it in the description so you can go check them out. So I sell print ready interiors, I sell planner templates, I sell journal templates, I also sell um, cover templates as well that are all editable on Canva, even with the free version of Canva as well. 
So um, you can create a YouTube channel where you're giving amazing value. Again, I advise you when you're putting out products on Amazon, try as much as possible to choose a niche and focus on that and choose a niche that's absolutely productive, that's, uh, that has a high level of um, of sales. So for example, niches like um, journal, journaling, planning, um, gratitude, manifestation, prayer journals, uh, productivity. These are niches, entrepreneurship, you know, um, religion and astrology and even themed holiday themed um, um, books. These are great niches that are constantly selling as well. But you have to be absolutely careful if you're doing seasonal niches because you have to probably do niches that uh, seasons that are evergreen or you want to start making sure that you are probably focusing on summer um, books when it's summer uh, winter when it's winter autumn when it's autumn and, and so on and so forth so you can create amazing content on youtube like i'm doing currently and in the description you can link to your products that you're selling so for example let's say you're talking about productivity you want to talk about productivity for teenagers or productivity for students after you finish teaching about productivity you can then talk about the fact that you have a productivity planner for students on Amazon, you link it in the description and then people who watch your video who are interested will eventually click on the link in your description to go and buy. That's how you build an audience on YouTube and you can also um, increase the amount of people who go and visit your store on Amazon and buy your book as well. Okay, so that's for YouTube. Again, another amazing place that you can build an audience and sell is through your mailing list. See, I'm constantly talking about building an audience and selling to them because I have done business for years, for close to 10 years. And I'll tell you the fact that one of the biggest determinants of growth in a business is you having control of an audience where you can actually sell to people instead of just relying on being on the platform, relying on algorithms that may change over time. But with a mailing list, you actually own your own audience. So you can actually use a freebie to drive traffic to your mailing list, all right? So a freebie could be like a simple printable or it could be like some uh, a, an ebook or a tiny workbook about a few tips that can help people get tangible or immediate results and then give value as you nurture the people in your mailing list. Then you can then promote your books in your mailing list as well, okay? So um, it's important that you build your mailing list by giving out a freebie, something that people who would buy your book would be interested in. So if you're in the productivity niche, for example, you could give out a freebie on like some sort of um, content calendar that could help people to be able to schedule their content so that they can achieve higher productivity, all right? And then giving this free will enable you to get their emails in return where you can send them more valuable content via their emails and then eventually promote your books as well, okay? So leverage on mailing lists to build an audience, give value, and then promote your books as well. Then if you have some money to spend, I would advise you to also use ads as well. You can actually run ads directly to um, your books. So you could leverage on Amazon marketing services, which is Amazon ads, or you could leverage on Facebook and Instagram ads as well. So running ads directly to your books is also a great way to actually make money. Okay, so I'll advise you to start small and then test and see which of your products and which of your ad sets actually work to give you the best returns. Don't just throw all your money into ads. I advise you to start small, test, do split tests, test it, get good at doing Amazon ads. I'll probably do a video tutorial about that later on and um, make sure that you uh, subscribe to my channel so that when I do an ad or a, a tutorial on ads, you actually are able to get the notification and then come watch it for yourself. Okay. So do ads. Ads really, really help you to increase your return on your investment, especially when you do them very, very well. Okay. So that's that for ads. And number seven, this is something that a lot of people don't think about often. But thank God that the world is opening now, thanks to uh, the fact that, you know, COVID cases are hopefully reducing. Hopefully they're reducing wherever you are as well. But you can actually go to events and pop-up shops and sell your low-content and no-content books. How do you do that? When you're published on Amazon, you can order copies of your books. And then when you, you, you can go on platforms like Eventbrite, look for local events that are around your area. You don't have to go so far. Look for local events. Um, you can message your organizer and ask them if you can actually come and you know put set up a pop-up shop to sell your books there. You want to look for events that are related to your industry niche. So for example, if you are 
in the niche for teenagers or, or students, for example, maybe you want to go to open house events where they're doing open house for um, school registrations and signups and you can actually set up shop there. Or you could go to a place close to where people are selling back to school stuff and you could set up shop there. If you are somebody who sells um, um, books that are related to maybe religious books, for example, maybe you sell prayer journals, you can actually um, look for events, church related events, and then contact the organizers to ask them if you can actually come exhibit your books there. Usually they will charge you a fee, but if you know the kind of audience that you, you're going to meet there, you would more than cover for your fee, you would more than cover for the shipping costs as well and the printing costs of your book, and you could make a lot of money. I know people who make up to $400 per day at such pop-up events. If you are somebody who creates children's books, it's even amazing because you can actually put up uh, pop-up shops for children's books practically almost anywhere where they have yard sales or all kinds of events and exhibitions because parents would be there, okay? So events and pop-up shops are a great place to sell. You can even create your own events. If you're somebody who's already maybe a thought leader or you have your own audience and you're creating live events, you can actually print copies of your book and take them to your own event as well. Okay, so that is that for events and pop-up shop. Now the bonus, the bonus um, place where you can find customers for your book that I promised you is local bookstores. Many people don't think that bookstores will actually want to stock um, notebooks, fancy notebooks, fancy looking notebooks, um, fancy looking journals or planners, but these are places that you could actually stock such books as well. Okay, so if you go to your bookstore, you usually find lovely looking journals and if you are able to create beautiful designs for your covers and go to your local bookstores and ask to stock your books there you would be surprised the reception that you may just receive so um don't be scared to try don't be scared to go ask and say hey um, i have these books that i've created myself i'd like to put them on your shop you can work out a contract between yourself and the bookstore owners for how you're going to share revenue and and other stuff like that okay so local bookstores are a great place to be able to stock your book and if it's a bookstore that has a lot of traffic and your books are really really good you'll find yourself having to restock all the time so do not underrate local bookstores when it comes to putting up your books right so that is it i've shared the different tips with you publishing on amazon instagram facebook groups youtube email lists um, using ads and events and pop-up shows and also finally local bookstores all right i hope that you take one of these and run with it and let me know what you think in the comment section if it's worked for you please come back and comment in the comment section and let us know how it went for you if you have any questions as well please leave them in the comments i'll be happy to come answer them don't forget to like subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so that you can get notified whenever i put out new content thank you so much for listening my name is ethereum Tewa. please check in the description for certain other tools and resources that i use in my amazon publishing journey as well all right and if you're interested join my low content publishing group it is called low content products with a during a devil on facebook you can ask questions there i constantly put out content and do webinars free webinars there as well also check out my store at kit and stone is on instagram as well you can go check kit underscore and underscore stone you can check us out there and see other content where i share content about um canva and creating and publishing these kinds of low content products all right so i hope you got value from this thank you so much for listening i will see you in another video.